Grub with Mad River Canoe. I'm here on the beach with the Adventure 16. Adventure 16 was introduced in the early 2000s as a uh, entry-level canoe. The family's just wanting to get into, into boating. It's got third seat and that kind of stuff, a lot of facilities. It's made of a very durable material that is uh, very forgiving for a living learning curve. And it's also designed to be very stable and reassuring, comfortable for the customer. The Adventures are made of a rotationally molded polyethylene. It's a good choice for an entry-level boat because it's very durable. It's also maintenance-free and carefree. You pretty much leave it leaning up against the side of your house over the winter. Um, especially if you're learning to paddle, you don't have to worry about bumping into rocks or the beach or anything like that. The material is really durable. It's the same kind of material they use to make whitewater kayaks out of. Um, the Adventures are unique in the, the way that they're molded. Uh, they are they feature a kayak-style rim and all the seats are molded into the boat. It's sort of like a unibody construction. It's very strong. You can see that they just cut off and they trim off here and they attach the bottoms of the hull there for rigidity. Um, there's nothing to break. There's nothing to fall off. Uh, in fact, the only things that could conceivably fail are the seat trim, that kind of stuff. But the beauty of that is that if you do have a problem with that seat, the boat remains paddleable and you can get home safely. One of the things we really emphasize when we're designing a boat for an entry-level boat for people new to paddling is to make the boat as stable as possible so that they're comfortable and they can enjoy the experience. And this boat has a very stable hull and that has a shallow arch bottom which helps its stability when it's sitting still. It's what's called initial stability. When you move, get the boat moving and you're in the waves and that such thing, that's what you have called final stability. And final stability is really the more important. That's when the boat is going to be leaned over. This boat has a multi-chine hull. You can see the two ridges running along here, which presents a new panel to the water, creates resistance to the boat rolling further. It wants to push the boat back upright. The other aspect to a, uh, an entry-level boat is you want to make a boat that tracks pretty well. It wants to go straight because that's one of the more challenging aspects of learning to be a paddler. And this boat has very little rocker, not much lift in the ends. It has a very straight, long keel line, and then the keel line is actually extended at the stern. You can see the shape of the, of the keel going out, and that all helps the boat go in a straight line and resist turning a little bit. It's a lot easier to learn how to turn a boat than it is to make it go straight, so it shortens the learning curve. One thing that's very noticeable about this hull design is you have these recessed channels running the length of the boat. The primary purpose there is to create a stiff bottom to keep the boat efficient when it moves through the water. Uh, if they were not there, the hull would have more of a tendency to flop and to move and lift and, and drop. One of the neat things about this boat as an entry-level boat is that it is fully featured. Um, from padded grab handles up in the bow and in the stern to make boat lifting easy, um, it has a kayak style seat in the sense that it's adjustable both fore and aft and also up and down. The seat is padded, it's got a handy mesh package uh, pocket right here. Cup holders in the front for the front paddler. It goes standard with a center padded seat, great for kids or if you want to paddle the boat solo. Gear trays, more cup holders, and then a stern seat that's outfitted in the same direction with cup holders, mesh pocket, padded seat, adjustable backrest. And the Adventure 16 is designed to accept an electric trolling motor very easily. Uh, there is a modular kit that you need to buy. This black piece you see here is easily installed at home and you can mount a trolling motor right to the boat. So for an entry level boat it's, it's really feature laden. The uh, Ventures come with a, what we call the comfort seating system. It's extremely comfortable and the nice thing about it is it's very adjustable. Uh, to transport the boat, you keep your seat down, you keep the hooks in front of the seat. When you get to your launch point, you undo the hooks, reach around and hook them back here which helps keep the seat back upright. Now the seat back is adjustable fore and aft by adjusting the straps. Relax it if you want to be in a more reclining position, if you're fishing or something like that, if you're starting to pad a little bit and you want to get a little back support, you just tighten them up like that. 
The other nice thing about it is the seat is height adjustable. We have what we call a butterfly back here. You just release it and you can adjust the seat to different heights. Change the angle. It's a two-way seating system and then it's padded as well so it's very comfortable. Nice way to spend the whole day on the water. We make the adventure in two sizes, 16 footer such as shown here and a 14 footer. The 14 footer obviously is two foot shorter. Uh, it is a little bit wider to maintain the stability of the hull and the 14 is a little bit lighter so for people that you know may have a little less access to getting car things off the roof of their car and that kind of stuff the lightweight may appeal or if you're going to be paddling in tight twisty waterways compared to open water such as we have right here the 16 is a bit faster tracks a little better uh, than the 14 does 14 turns a little faster